So 2020 was a tough year for many restaurants and food service operations. Amid the coronavirus pandemic, cutting costs and managing margins was key. While you likely have been doing all you can to meet government regulations and new customer demands, it is important to continually search for ways to innovate. Today, I'll offer a few things to consider that can help you boost sales to help make sure your operation's top line continues to grow. First, I should mention that despite the COVID-19 vaccine rollout across the country, the return to normal will take time. If you haven't already, it might be a good idea to consider offering curbside, curbside takeout and delivery. These options let customers enjoy your food from the comfort of their homes, and it will be a slow return to indoor dining in many areas. Even after restrictions on indoor capacity are lifted, customers will be nervous and prioritize their safety. When offering on-the-go meals, ensure you, make sh ensure you make the right packaging choices. The meals should arrive at the right temperature without a mess and sealed for safety. You'll see some packaging op options that have tamper evidence seals that alert the consumer if they have been opened after leaving the kitchen and before arriving to them. This is especially important if you choose to utilize third-party delivery services like Uber Eats or DoorDash. Some containers have vents which allow steam to exit, preventing hot foods from getting soggy or even overcooking. If your delivery is if delivery isn't your thing or you've already or you already have takeout figured out, there's definitely still a ton of ways to boost your sales. One example being offering Create your own or DIY meal options. This is a trend that has taken the internet by storm. For many food service operations, this simply means breaking down your most popular dishes into a step-by-step -step DIY kit. Two common DIY kits I've seen are DIY pizzas and build your own tacos. For pizzas, the dough, cheese, sauce, and various toppings are delivered unassembled uncooked inside the pizza box. Upon arrival, the customer gets to roll the dough, top the pizza, and cook it themselves. Similar to the pizza for building your own tacos, all ingredients like rice, pico de gallo, choice of meat, cheese, and shells are stored individually and combined <laughs> by the end consumer. This is a great option because it acts as a meal and an activity for people who are looking for things to do, especially during the cold winter months. DIY kits don't have to be limited to meals. Sell cocktail kits as well, if your local regulations permit, especially if you are known for great handcrafted drinks. While these DIY kits won't replicate an on-premise dining experience exactly, it offers an appealing alternative for date night or family bonding and most importantly, helps you sell and recoup sales. Now some of you may be saying, my meals are too fancy to be deconstructed and delivered in a box. And if that's the case, many of my upscale clients put their own spin on the DIY experience. They hosted live virtual cooking events with the head chef or a lively host. Cooking with their head chef allowed them to promote the experience as an upscale date night which attendees registered and paid for. Once signing up, registers, re registrants received a list of ingredients to purchase and prep before the virtual class started. Leveraging the right online software and event management technology helps, helps your guests interact with staff and get a personalized experience, even when they're not together. Most importantly, you'll be able to secure increased sales from the event. Similar to hosting online cooking classes, you may consider short cooking tutorials, wine tastings, or Q&A sessions. Of many other ways to boost sales in the new environment, you can try catering to small parties. We will likely not see large gatherings for quite some time, but catering services for small events, holidays, and other gatherings are still in high demand. Adapt your menu to offer unique catering options for small groups. Finally, 
Make sure your operation has a grab and go section. Pre-package your food products and allow guests to grab them and go. Grab and go items are fast and easy. However, it is important that your grab and go containers effectively merchandise your meals and maintain your food's quality, ensuring it keeps your food fresh and looking great.